What brings you to these parts? Oh, just about to do some target shooting with my home defense shotgun. Oh yeah? Me too. What you keep for home defense? Single barrel, 12 gauge shotgun. The only thing you need for home defense. Single barrel? Boy, what if two people break in your house? You need a double barrel shotgun. Boy, two intruders ain't gonna break in my house. Believe me, I know. It's always just the one guy. Same guy too. Single barrel's obsolete. You need a double barrel shotgun. Now, single barrel's the way to go. Double barrel! Single barrel! Double barrel! But what if three people break into your house at the same time? What are you gonna do then? I don't know. What would, what would you do then? I, I don't know. That's why you need a triple barrel shotgun. Well, butter my biscuit. <laughs> What's up everybody? My name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. We're back out on the range and I'm very excited about today's video. I have a very unique shotgun to show you. Let's go check this thing out and get started. So you've seen a single barrel shotgun and you've seen a double barrel shotgun, but have you ever seen a triple barrel shotgun? This is the Chiapa Triple Threat 12 gauge shotgun. These are actually really hard to find. I am very excited to show this to you today. This model has three 18 inch barrels. We have the door breacher chokes on the end. We have a fiber optic front sight. You break this thing open, you load your three rounds inside. What's interesting though, is it only has one trigger. So every time you pull the trigger, it cycles to the next barrel until you fire all three barrels. I really wish it had three triggers. That way we could shoot all three barrels at once, but I guess they thought of that and knew someone like me would do that one day, so they just designed it out of the gun. What's the point of having three barrels if you can't shoot all three barrels at one time? The last thing that's really unique about this shotgun is it has a two-piece stock. You remove these two screws, this piece of the stock comes off, and then you have a pistol grip. There's really nothing else I can tell you about this shotgun other than I'm really excited to try it out, so let's go get loaded up and get started. What are you doing? Ow! What? I'm working on my gun. What's it look like I'm doing? Are you a gunsmith? It can't be that hard, Scott, okay? Just give it a little tap tap roo of the hammer. It should be fine. You need to check out some classes at Sonoran Desert Institute if you're gonna be working on guns. Look, Scott, I don't have time to get my PhD in gunsmithing, okay? They're all online classes, so it doesn't take up a bunch of your time. You need to check them out. Sonoran Desert Institute. I mean, I guess I could check it out. Now, give me that. So first things first, I just want to shoot this thing and see how fast I can shoot it. I'm going to start out with some two and three quarter inch bird shot. Such a cool looking shotgun. I mean, that is absolutely ridiculous. I love it. I hope it works. Have not shot this thing yet. Always wait till you're out here with me to take shots with the new gun. So first I'm going to take three shots at a normal speed and then we'll see how fast we can shoot it. They do not eject, so you gotta pull all three out by hand. Let's throw three more rounds in there and see how fast we can shoot these. This is pretty cool. All right, here we go. <laughs> That's awesome. Three rounds of Remington two and three quarter inch double lot buck. a little bit slower that time. I, I say we try one more time. Well, that was a whole lot faster. So let me introduce you to Sir Eggplant. He fights for the honor of disgusting vegetables. And today we're gonna see how he holds up against a triple barrel shotgun. I really hope that you have a good blacksmith. I'm gonna take it easy on you. We're gonna start out with some bird shot. Let's see how your shield holds up. Oh! Sir Eggplant, are you okay? So his little flimsy shield didn't hold up too well. Looks like we smoked his whole hand. Now let's give him some bird shot right to the chest. Oh!
That one kind of jacked up Sir Eggplant. Let's go check him out. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, not looking too good. This medieval armor is not gonna hold up against modern technology. So let's get you some modern armor. Okay, so got some soft body armor here. I believe this is only level 2A and it's expired. Well, now that he's wearing a bullet resistant vest, we're gonna step it up to some double lot buck. Oh my gosh! That still didn't turn out very well for Mr. Eggplant. I mean, Sir Eggplant, sorry. Oh dear, okay. Um, well, that almost came through the other side. Looks like it stopped it though. Yeah, this is level 2A. Ready for nine mil and 357 Magnum. And apparently, double lot buck. The only problem is Sir Eggplant's face is not very protected. Oh! Sir Eggplant, I'd say today you met your match. I'm about 25 yards back. I'm gonna take a few shots of the trunk of that car, see what kind of spread we got. So that was double up buck, so nine pellets a piece. And I was aiming in this area right here and not too bad of a spread. So, I have this five gallon jug full of jello, but I've left it out here all week, and it's like 20 degrees, so it's pretty frozen. Oh, wow! I got two more rounds. <laughs> all right, up next. I got some mayonnaise and I took the stock off of this thing. So I'm gonna try that out, see how it works out. I also brought out these little mini shells. They are one and three quarter inch buckshot. So we got three mayonnaise. So let's do one mini shell, one bird shot, and one double lot buck. All right, another bird shot. And now the double lot buck. Didn't do too good with the double lot buck. Let's try again, here we go. There we go. All right, I gotta try this thing one-handed. So I'm gonna try it once with the mini shell, once with bird shot, and once with double odd buck. All right, mini shell. Bird shot. Double odd buck. These little mini shells are fun. <laughs> Next, we got some cabbage. We're gonna hit one 
with the mini shell, one with bird shot, and one with double lot buck. Mini shell! Oh! Bird shot! Shoot that one, double up, bump. Oh. <laughs> up next. Oh, darn it, I've got three 12 packs of sodas. Mini shell. Road shot. Off here. <laughs> Gotta clear off the table because you know what time it is. It's time. It's time. Pineapple time? It's Little Man time. <laughs> Nothing beats watermelon time. That's going to be it for today's video. I have to admit, I like the Chiapa Triple Threat more than I thought I would. The only thing that would make it better is if it was in 10 gauge. What did you think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed today's video as much as I did, do me a big favor and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. Also, be sure and check me out on Kentucky Customs, Kentucky Ballistics Shorts, Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all those can be found in the description description down below along with a link to KentuckyBallistics.com just in case you want to pick up a shirt. And as always, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics and I'll see you next time.